ChatGPT has been around for a while. Some say it's going to change the world of software development forever. Others say it's not even close to being able to replace software developers. I have been using ChatGPT for a few weeks now. And in this video, I will give it three tasks to find out how good ChatGPT is for everyday.net development. ChatGPT, please write a C sharp method that orders a list of person objects by name and excludes all persons that are under age. ChatGPT takes a few seconds and answers. Sure, here's an example C sharp method that orders a list of person objects by name and exclude all persons that are under age. We have a static method that returns a list of person objects called order and filter people accepting a single parameter of type list of person. Next, we use the link method syntax to filter the persons in the people list by age and order them by name. Judging from what I see, I do believe the code will give us the right result according to our query. However, I would probably implement the method differently. But let's not get ahead of ourselves for now. We will copy the code over to Visual Studio in a minute. Let's read the explanation from ChatGPT first. In this method, we first use links where method to filter all persons that are under age. We do this by specifying a lambda expression that checks whether the person's age property is greater than or equal to 18. Next, we use links order by method to order the remaining people by their name property. We again use a lambda expression to specify the property to order by. Finally, we return the ordered list of people. Note that this method assumes that the person class has properties called name and age. You might need to adjust the code accordingly to match your specific implementation of the person class. Well, if ChatGPT even tells us how the class should look like, what if we ask it to write it for us? Can you also add a simple c -sharp class for the person, including a name, the age, and the date of birth? Certainly, here's an example person class in c -sharp that includes a name, age, and date of birth property. From what I can tell, this class looks okay. It even implemented a calculated age property based on the current date and the date of birth property. Let's read the explanation next. In this explanation, the person class has a name property, a date of birth property and a calculated age property. The age property calculates the person's age based on their date of birth property using a private calculate age method. Note that this implementation assumes that the person's age is calculated based on the current date and time. If you need to calculate their age based on a specific date or time zone, you'll need to adjust the code accordingly. It looks like we could go on and on and ask GPT to further enhance the code by generating more c -sharp code for us. However, let's see if the code actually works and what an experienced.NET developer might do differently. Let's jump into Visual Studio. I copied the two code snippets generated by ChatGPT into Visual Studio. We can already see a compiler error because we need to wrap methods into a class within the program.cs file. ChatGPT isn't aware of the context where we use the generated code. So that's fine and I wrap a class called peoplefilter around the method. Next, we get the compiler error that the program does not contain a static main method. It's because we're missing top-level statements that will be shifted into the main method of the console application. Let's change that by creating a people list and adding a person to the list. We want to run the code anyways, so we need that data. We also call the order and filter people method, save the resulting collection to a variable and use a for each loop to go through all the person objects and output the name followed by the age. 
For a simple test to see if underage persons are excluded, I add another person born in 2015. Let's start the program to see the result. As you can see, the program correctly filters the persons based on the rules we gave ChatGPT. Now, let's see what the implementation looks like and what changes I would make. First of all, let's look at the order and filter people method. I would shorten the implementation to a single return statement followed by chaining the order by method onto the where method. We can also remove an unnecessary to list call between the two link methods. The person class looks good to me. We could add a constructor, but the structure of the class makes sense to me as it was generated by ChatGPT. The calculate age method called within the age property is interesting. The implementation is correct and makes sense. It even considers if the person's birthday is already passed in the current year. I would probably inline the code into the getter of the age property, but that's my personal preference. I'm happy and impressed by what ChatGPT generated for this example. Let's try something more algorithmic for the second example. I ask ChatGPT can you please implement a method in C-sharp that has 52 values in an array, shuffles the items and returns a random value from the array? Sure, here's a sample method in C-sharp that shuffles the elements of an array of 52 values and returns a random value from the array. I like how ChatGPT states what it does so we can see if there is a misunderstanding of the query we wrote. The generated code looks good so far. Apparently, ChatGPT thinks we want to implement a card game because I choose 52 elements for the array. This method creates an array deck of size 52 and initializes it with values from 0 to 51. It then shuffles the elements of the array using the Fisher Yates shuffle algorithm. Finally, it selects a random index within the range of the array and returns the value at that index. You can call this method in your program to get a random card as follows. ChatGPT even gives us the code to call the method to generate the random value. It even tells us that with each call to the method, the result will be different. I'm not happy with everything looks like we want to implement a card game. I therefore ask ChatGPT to change the size of the array to 100 elements and to use names instead of numbers. ChatGPT changes the code to use names instead of numbers and changes the identifiers from deck and card to names. Also, the name of the method changed. I have to admit, I absolutely don't know the Fisher Yates algorithm and I asked ChatGPT to change the code and use the built-in sorting. ChatGPT once again changes the implementation and uses the array.sort method instead of the previous algorithm. Again, it also explains in depth how the implementation works. I quickly tested the code in Visual Studio and it perfectly works. There is nothing I would change in this code, so let's move on to the third and final example of this video where I want to show something completely different from the two examples we already had. What is the difference between Blazor and React? With this query, I want to see how ChatGPT can give us advice beyond code generation. ChatGPT responds with a great overview and comparison of both technologies. I won't read the whole text, you can pause the video if you're interested. However, I wonder what technology ChatGPT would suggest for a C-sharp developer with about 5 years of experience for a project that uses authentication and will expect about 200 users. It now suggests using ASP.NET Core with Razor Pages or MVC. It also explains the decision in detail. In the end, it even tells us that both Razor Pages and MVC are a good choice because we already have experience with C-sharp development. Remember, we started with a query comparing Blazor and React.
Now, let's ask ChatGPT why it recommends ASP.NET Core with Razor Pages or MVC and not Blazor. It provides us with much detail why it thinks that Blazor isn't the right choice for the project and ASP.NET Core Razor Pages or MVC are the better option. I'm impressed with how detailed the explanations are and how much my inputs are taken into consideration when giving an answer. However, I would never let ChatGPT make an architectural or technological decision for any software project. But it's definitely a great starting point to get an opinion of a choice. It's like asking a coworker for advice. We will learn something from talking to your coworker, but in the end, you'll make sure the information is correct and suits your situation. I have used it a few times during the last weeks and I'm impressed with the level of detail it provides. It's a great starting point to let ChatGPT generate the code if you already know what you need. You can also ask architectural or technological questions. It's like googling but more tailored to your situation and your personal needs. Of course, you still need to fact check the answers, improve the source code, test it and generally use your brain when working with ChatGPT. For me, it's a very helpful tool but nowhere close to replacing software developers. You still have to be a developer to feed the correct queries and to judge the output ChatGPT provides. However, I do believe it can hugely improve the productivity in certain situations. What is your experience with ChatGPT? Would you use it for .NET development? And if you tried it already, what were your results? Is there something you want me to try? Please let me know in the comments and I see you in the next video.